Hello, welcome to the 2010 annual Havana Art Fair. This right here is my own personal display of my art. This is from all the way back from when I was in eighth grade up until now. I've got some of my photography up at the top, some of my digitally altered photography down here, and a few of my 3D projects too. Now next in the senior displays is Jenny Bologna. She has some printmaking, she has some, some watercolor that she did. This is one of her boutiques. And this is a piece based off the artist Louise Nevelson. She just took pieces that represent, her, represented her and her family and just glued them onto a board and spray painted them. There's things like, uh, like a CD because she likes music and she has a doggy bone because her dog, she loves her dog. She has a cross here because of her strong faith. Uh, we move on to the next senior, which is Tasha Burgess. This right here is a coil pot that she did, which you basically just take long coils of clay and just keep rolling and piling them, and then you paint them, and then you fire it, and this is what they end up looking like. She also has some of her photography here, and this is a watercolor of hers. Let's see. And, oh, of course, I gotta show her rug. This is her rug. These things take forever to make, but they actually turn, hers turned out really nice. And here's one of her stamps that she'd use. This is the stamp right here, and then she just covers that ink and stamps it on for each one. Now the next senior we have is Alex Richardson. Here's a collage she made. She took strips of newspaper with words on it that she liked that had to do with the piece, and she glued them on the shape of a trumpet, as you can see. Uh, let's see, what else did she do? Here. This is a wire sculpture that she made. She covered it in paper and used Mod Podge, which is a type of glue, to paint around it with the shape of an elephant. And then she painted it gray. And there she go. And it used to have a little ball up here, but I guess she lost it. Let's see, now we're moving on to, oh, Tiffany Bell. This piece right here, last year she, run, she won the 18th District Congressional Art Show, and it was sent to Washington, D.C., and it's been there until about a week ago. So that's pretty darn awesome. Let's see what else we have. Here's another boutique she did. And here, right here, is a coil basket. She, which is, uh, there's this long rope, and you just wind fabric or yarn, whichever you like, she used both. You just wind it around and keep coiling and coiling until you get this. So it's pretty nice. All right. Now we're going to move on to our final senior. Oh, wait. Here, let's stop right here. This is Alex Richardson. She is working on a painting. Here, let's just swing around here. She's working on a painting. Who is this? My niece, Carly. I see. You're doing a great job. Thanks. And over here we have other senior, Katie Clark. Hello, Katie. What are you working on? Uh, chalk pastel. Mm -hmm. And where is this? Bath Mansion. I see. It's turning out very nice. Thank you. All right, now we're going to move on to Katie's show, which is right here. Let's see, what have we got here? Oh, wow. This is a wire sculpture she did. It's of an angel. This is a You basically just... She it looks like she made a wire frame and then used thinner wire to wrap around it to make it look more full. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, wow, here. This is a printmaking of hers. And when we went to the art... the uh, Prairie Land Art Conference this year, they made uh, Student Choice Awards so students would vote on the piece in the category that they like the best, and hers won for the printmaking category. That's very awesome. And here's another thing that went to the Prairie Land Art Festival. This is a picture that she took, and she won first place in it. That's pretty awesome. Ah, this is one that she's been working a long time on. This is a acrylic painting of her and her grandmother back when she was a baby. This is Katie, and she's really proud of it. It took a long time for her to do it. All right, let's move on. So that's all the seniors that we have this year in art. They do a great job, some of them. <laughs> Myself, I don't know. 
and we're moving on. This is the table where people will sign in to show their support for whoever they're coming to see the art show for. All right, that over there is Mrs. C, and she is in, she's the teacher, what am I saying? She's taking in signatures for people who are coming to see the art show. And there's Brian Newsom. Here we have some pieces of art that the Art One students made to sell. They're three dollars a piece. Oh, and two dollars and one dollar. It's pretty exciting. All right, now we're going to go over to the younger kids' shows. First, we're going to start with Art Three. All right. This is a lot. Wow. I think. Oh, okay. So this is this is all Nikki Stamboff's work. She is an art three student, but she does a lot of good work. This is a painting that she did of the skeleton we have up in the bio lab. She took a picture of it and then did a painting of it from her own perspective. I think it looks really nice. Oh, and the that's that's the part of the body. That's the maxilla right here on the skeleton. Let's see what else do we have. This is one she did her freshman year, I think. And she took a skull and wrapped it in duct tape, or tape. First she put it around one way and then she taped it around the other way so that it wouldn't stick to the actual skull. And then she just cut it off and retaped it. And then she added her own touch to it. Now this one's kind of special to me. This is one she did this year. This is actually my hand. It's a casting of my hand and a casting of her own hand. And she formed them in the shape of a heart. And then she dripped crayon wax around it and wrote the word together here, so. And that's the name of it, together. Oh, never mind, it's bondage. And it still looks awesome. Now over here, we have David Mastin, who is another art three person. Right here, he's using uh, like casting that they'd use for a cast when you go to the hospital. You wet it and put it on there and then it dries solid and it looks like he's making a hat. That's pretty nice. Now, here is some rugs that he's made. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's so solid. He's done some collages and some shop pastel and a batik. And batiking is a very complicated process. You take a plain white canvas, dip it in uh, one of those dye, and then you cover the parts that you want to keep that color in wax, and then you dip it in another color, wax it, dip it in another color, wax it, and it can take up to two weeks sometimes, maybe more, depending on how many colors you have. Now here we move on to art two. These are the coil pots that I was talking to you about before, where they just take the long coils of clay and just wrap up and go up. All right, and they painted them, and then we also worked on these is coil baskets, like I told you before, where you take the coil and wrap it. This is the watercolor that they did at the beginning of the year. We took pictures from a certain perspective, and then we just painted the way we thought it should look, as realistically as possible. And over here, hello, we did furniture out of one common object, like crayons. That's cool. And also over here, these are journals that we spent a very long time working on. And we uh, then we tore them apart and made them into something different. Now we're in Art One, and here's another Louis Nevelson base project. These are chalk pastels that they did of themselves or one of their friends, whoever they wanted. Here's some batiks down here that they worked on. Oh, I see. And down here are the batiks that they worked on. This one got second place at the art festival. That's pretty good. Now we're moving on. This is where they worked on fading from one color to another using paint. Yes. Here are pinch pots where they just take clay and pinch it out and pull it out and then paint it. Uh, these are houses. You take perspective of your house and draw it out in 3D as possible. Here are hands and cans project, which all the freshmen do. It's where you take different pictures of your hand and different pictures of cans, and you just keep drawing them continuously in a pattern. And up here are more chalk drawings. Oh, charcoal drawings, sorry. And then you have, these are oil pastels of fruit. So that's the 2010 Park Fair in Havana, Illinois, and I hope you enjoyed it.